Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And we have another install video we'll be doing for you guys tonight. And what we ended up picking up was a blinker kit. Eventually we want to make this unit right here street legal. And so we went ahead and picked up this nice blinker kit. This is a true plug and play kit. And there's no holes that you need to drill in the unit or anything like that. And this actually plugs in to the Polaris Ranger bus bar. So there's no wire splicing or anything like that. It's a true plug and play kit. Comes with these nice LED lights in the front for the turn signals. And then you got your switch handle right here. This is what's gonna go on the column. And then this is the whole wiring harness right here. This goes from the front to the back. It has high heat wire, wire looms, waterproof connections. Everything is soldered, it's fused, and it's a really, really nice kit. I'll put a link in the description where we got this from. We got it off of eBay, and uh, it's a really nice unit. And let me show you how these turn signals are gonna go. So basically, there's gonna be one on each side, and it comes with adhesive, and they're just gonna stick right there, and then we're gonna go through a grill. We're gonna pop this grill out, and um, that's how it's gonna look. And then it goes all the way to the back of the unit, and the back factory lights will actually blink. So the whole kit, you have blinkers in the front, and it interacts with the back, so we'll have LED blinkers in the front and the back, and it should be a real nice kit. Uh, also, it comes with these nice uh, cover instructions. Very detailed. You guys can see step by step on how to do it. But well, we're going to show you how to do it here on the video. But for those of you that go by instructions better, they're very nice. Nicely detailed and colored instructions. And then he has various kits that you guys can pick up. You can check them out on eBay. Um, anything from 2013 all the way up to 2022. And uh, so what I think we'll do is we'll go ahead and get everything set up. And then we'll, we'll show you guys how to uh, install this blinker kit. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this hood here. We're going to take this off. Unclips real nice and easy. Set this aside over here. And then uh, we're going to take this grill out right here. There's two tabs right here. You just press them down and this pops right out. And then the seat, we're going to go ahead and take this seat out. Come on over here. I'll we'll show you guys how to do this. This thing just lifts right out, which is really nice. Just pops right out, right there, and right there. So it's going to give us easy access. And then we're going to take this bend, just pops right out. And then what we need to do is we need to take this floorboard off right here. So we're, we got one, two, three, four push pins on each side. So we'll take that off and then we'll have full access to what we need to get to. All right guys, um, there's a couple different ways you can get these push pins out. This is one tool you can use or you can just use a regular flat screwdriver or you can use a pair of needle nose. This works pretty good. So usually what I do, is I just get this underneath there and just pop it out. And it pops out just like that. Very simple. I'll put a link in the description for this tool. You guys want to pick one of these up. Really help it out. And then these are just going to pop out like that. There's one here. Make sure you don't lose these because you're going to need these to put this floor back in. So 
there's four on this side and now we'll get the other side all right we got all the pins out and then this just pops out towards the driver's side and now we have access to where we got to go so it's real simple that's basically everything we got to take apart and then uh, we're going to go ahead and feed the wiring harness all along the, the main wiring harness of the unit. We'll zip tie it. We'll go all the way back here and back through there. And then we're going to come up right there. And we're going to plug in right there. That's for the rear lights right there. All right guys, this is the back of the harness. This is what we're gonna feed all the way to the back tail lights. And I just wanted to point this out to you. This is a really nice kit because it comes with a wire if you wanna hook up to a license plate. So that's gonna light up your license plate. And if you wanna have a third brake light, you're gonna wire it to this light right here. So like I said, it's a real nice kit. And basically you're just gonna feed it through here Like that, and then I don't know. Come over here, Mikey. I don't know if you could, they could see this, but kind of show you guys. It's gonna go right into here, which is gonna go into the cap. So I don't know if it's coming out good on camera, but that's where it's gotta go. Right down where these pipes are, right here. You just feed it right through here. So here's the back of the harness. So what we got to do is we got to go under this tunnel here. And then go out right here. And then we're going to go back over this way. Or we can come up this way, yeah. We'll come up this way, follow this one. And go all the way through. So we'll go ahead and get this ran all the way back. And then we'll go from there. All right. And then this harness right here, you're just going to unplug these two right here and plug in the new kit right here. And just want to make sure that they're all plugged in real good and that when the bed's closed, that nothing's pinching the wire. So then basically, we just got to um, use the zip ties that came with the kit. We're going to zip tie this to the main wiring harness. And then we'll go on to the next part, which is the turn signals up front. All right, so we got that all ran all the way back up to the front here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the blinkers on the front. So as you guys can see here, it's two-sided tape. We went ahead and put it on there. And then um, we'll go ahead and peel this off here. And then it's going to go on just like this. And we did uh, use rubbing alcohol to make sure this area was clean. And we're just going to stick it on just like that. Make sure it's nice, firm. And then we plug that in back here. Go like that. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Two sided tape again. I'm gonna put it right at the edge there. Nice and firm. And there's the front and then we'll uh, zip tie this front harness right here and then this is what's going to go to the steering wheel to hook up to the, uh, the lever the turn signal lever so we're going to feed that through here and then this is going to go over here and plug into here so 
we're just going to take that around here. Plug that into right there, like that, and then we're going to go ahead and put the. Uh, we're going to mount this right here with the self-tapping screw that he sent us, and then this is going to the steering wheel. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys. The next step is what we did is we cut this. Um, zip tie off the boot here okay just make sure you're real careful and you don't cut the boot and then we fed the switch wires through here and just gonna let that hang like that and then they come all the way through here okay and then you're just gonna plug them in see they came right there Plug that into there. And we'll plug that into there. And we'll zip tie that. So that's all done. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this rubber piece right here on the steering column. That way that this doesn't slip. So we're just gonna, it's a one-sided tape. We're gonna put it right here like this, stick it there, and then attach this switch to there, okay? And then we'll put the new zip tie back on, the one that's supplied with the kit, and then uh, that part's done. And then we'll wrap everything up and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, we got this all wired up. I just wanted to show you how we ran the wire, where we zip tied it. So we just ran it along the, uh, the main wire here and then ran it through there. And then we came out right through here. You guys can see on the main wiring harness. Ran it there all the way down through the tunnel and then out the tunnel right there, zip tied it right there. And then we came out the front right here. You guys can see. Came out the front right here. And then we ran this wire all the way across. Plugged in the light here. Ran that back there, hooked up to the turn signal switch on the steering column. And then ran it over here and plugged it in there. And then we mounted this right here. And that's it. All right, we got this all wrapped up. We're gonna go ahead and try them out, see if they work. There we go. Well, wow, those really look nice. Got that one in the front. Now check the other side. The other side's working. And then we got our four-way flashers. And then you can see the back are working. Come back here, Mikey. Move it up a little bit. You guys can see. Check it out. Sharp. Now we got LEDs in the front and the back. And then uh, now when you turn it on, it does have running lights. It has an option. If you don't want the running lights, you can just clip the gray wire on the plug for the lights. And then that uh, won't give you running lights and they'll just blink. But uh, right now we got it hooked up somewhere we have running lights. Turn signal on, and they turn. Same thing 
on the other side. You want to be touching the main arm, they're just running lights. On the doorway. Alright, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description where you can get this set at. It's on eBay. It's Barry's Computers. And he's a real nice guy. He makes kits from 2013 all the way up to 2022. 570s, 900s, 1000s, wherever you need he makes them. It's a real nice kit. Highly recommend it. If you're new to the channel and you like this kind of stuff, we appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Follow us on Instagram like us on Facebook and comment and like and share the video and with that said I'll see you on the next one